Hello there, this is the um, frame tool. So it cuts for the weather seal that goes around the internal rebate of the, of the sash, of the frame, sorry. Um, you'll notice that this stop on the back, um, which is critical for setting your distances. Um, in this instance, it's a high performance flush frame. Um, so you need the longer tail to the right hand side of the tool when you're holding it this way to your body. So you need the longer projection of this stop. However, you can undo it and turn it around the other way for traditional casements. When cutting the weather seal for the frame, always start from the bottom right hand corner. And you always start by cutting your first, weather, um, your first mitre. So you just offer the weather seal into the tool and cut your first mitre. Tear off the end. Push that into the groove. Push it into the corner, like so, and run the weather seal up. When setting up the tool, which is what we're doing now, I always run it in the groove all the way up, right up to the corner, and I push the weather seal into the corner, like so, and then fold it into the corner with a pen or a pencil, mark the corner where the mitre needs to be. This is only needed to be done on setup stages and setting up the tool. It just speeds up the setting up process. So then, I then pull the weather seal back out. I generally work to around about 300 mil away from the corner. Um, that's a measurement that you can set by yourself. But once you get into the into setting up, you need to get used to that distance because that determines how your tool set up. Like anything, the more you use it the more you get used to it and you'll come up with your common method. However, so setting the tool up, the stop, you, um, sit, you, you, set, you can adjust the stop by, with the Allen key here and I always, so, so the tool sits on, stop but back to the frame, run up, offer up the seal, Obviously, if that pen mark is into the, into the centre of where these two blades meet, um, then, then you're all good to go. I have already set up in this case, but obviously you can adjust it, slide the tool backwards or forwards, get it into the centre. But once you set up that tool and marked it, um, then you can cut, cut your first one, try it out. When, when setting this up, always when doing the corner weather seal, always leave this tail out first and do your, put your corner in first. Makes it a lot simpler. You can see there that I've got a perfect mitre that's been set up right, and it's as easy as that to set the tool up. Literally run it up into the corner, fold the weather seal, mark the corner, offer your tool up, make sure the mark is in with the centre of the blade, adjust your stop to suit, set your stop, do a test run, and just do that a couple of times until you get it right, and then you're away. So, in theory, now when I come up to this corner, once again stopping 300mm roughly from the corner, tool into the corner of the, of the the frame, the all in, corner, corner into the groove first, run the red cell through. Again, perfect mitre. So from setting it up on that corner, now once those screws are tight, you're good to go, and you can just literally just do sash after sash, frame after frame.